Good afternoon. It is Friday the 15th of October and I am back with a colored backline, background and added light. How cool is that? <laughs> um, yes, my um, small reno is done. Um, I cannot get the um, color of this gorgeous wall behind me to show up accurately on camera. I have tried multiple cameras, multiple angles, multiple lights, but no. It is a gorgeous peacock, green, blue, peacock color. Um, I am completely in love with it and again there's light extra light I am very excited about that so um, what's happening uh, not much let me tell you um, right now I am uh, doing the last pieces of the uh, getting the, the room to be usable again, uh, which is not entirely easy, let me tell you, because I made some changes while I was at it. First of all, I got rid of some books uh, that I doubt I will be using again. For example, The Ultimate Knitting Bible. Um, it's a cool book. It's It's... It's very good in many senses, but I don't use it. I have, uh, I actually have two different sewing Bibles. Those I actually do use because I don't have the techniques down as well. And I, wait, I have three different sewing Bibles. I think I, I should probably get rid of one. Having three different sewing Bibles is is excessive. So <laughs> apparently I'm gonna have to call my call my books again. Anyway, um, so yeah, the I, I don't have the techniques down as well as I do on knitting. So uh, I'm still keeping at least two of those. Yeah, probably two of those because uh, I have two two that are in English and one that is in Finnish and I want to have one in each language mostly because um, especially uh, translations for different things are sometimes very difficult to come by in Finnish versus uh, from Finnish to English or English to Finnish so it's it's very useful to be able to to, to go through those. So I think the second English language sewing Bible is going to have to go. But that is good because that means that I have possibly have room for two new books to come. Uh, one is um, the Pattern Magic book that I ordered previously but because it's very popular book, uh, I I was not sent that one. I have all the rest in the series, so I want the first one as well. And the second one is um, Cash Moret's uh, fitting book, uh, fit plus size or something like that. And I really want that one because I think. It has a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily get covered in other books because um, I don't know if you've noticed this, but plus size blocks are proportioned differently. I know, crazy, right? So anyway, I've got two, two, two more books coming and I need room for both of them and this is the way that I have chosen to make room for them <clears throat> and it is good. Um, 
or I'm choosing to call it good anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I just, I cannot tell you how pleased I am with this wall. It is, it is very pretty, in person at least. And I'm really pleased that I actually have some extra light in this corner. It has been very, very dark for the past five years. Um, not that I was using this room all that much for most of that time. <sighs> Whoops. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So this week, uh, well, first of all, I need to finish my work day, but once I finish my work day, I also need to take a, take a trip to, um, the UPS, uh, drop-off point to pick up an ironing station because I am updating my iron. It has been at least 15 years, probably longer. I need a new iron. Plus, it it has... Uh, it, it is... it is schmutzing. I don't like schmutzing. No schmutzing for me. Anyway, um... Once that's done, I am going to tackle the front of this beast and make it comply with my wants and needs. Uh, those wrinkles in the front are going down. And then I am finishing that coat. <laughs> uh, right now, uh, as soon as I manage to get at least some of those wrinkles out, I can um, do the top stitching that it needs uh, all around the front and then once the top stitching is in I can do the finishing in terms of the hand sewing and all that good stuff and then all that's left is just putting in the buttons and the buttonholes on the uh, front and then it's done then it's all done and I think that I might be able to get all of that done this weekend here's hoping at least I've got a call that usually runs about two hours with a friend on Saturday night which means that I have plenty of time to do a a lot of the hand stitching that I need to get done on the hem as long as I get the top stitching done before then. I might be able to work, uh, get, get the hand stitching done before the top stitching but I would rather do it the other way around because it's going to just be prettier in, in general. Anyway. I am going to go finish my work day now and I will see you on the other side. Good afternoon. Uh, it is Saturday the 16th of October and I am getting to, ready to start sewing on the infamous uh, trench coat. The I got the new ironing station yesterday and I actually did manage to do a pretty... I can no longer find the... the so if you remember this was this was a tragedy just the entire area. Now it's not so much of a tragedy so I'm I'm pretty good with that. This one is still kind of a tragedy but I'm deciding to be okay with it and this one is almost gone. I can't make it... I, I'm not sure if I can make it show up on the on the camera. Uh, apparently uh, the next thing I need to get for my camera is is a um, an external screen but that's not gonna happen for a while. Uh, 
in any case, um, they're gone enough that I am willing to start top stitching my my way through the uh, through the whole thing. Um, sorry, I'm kind of tired. I just um, went to the gym again because this is what I do in the weekends and um, yeah it's basically it's rest week which means uh, I'm I'm using also the there are clouds there the Sun is a great light when it wants to cooperate so excuse me for the shifting lights because there are clouds and they 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 pass and they're not they're not passing for long and anyway the sun is great when it's cooperating with you and not so great when it's not what are you gonna do so anyway um yes i'm ready to start top stitching this beast and then while i am in my meeting I will do the um, uh, I'm, I'm meeting with a friend later today hi Carla um, and while I'm in my meeting I can do the hand sewing that I need to do and yeah I think that's that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. I am going to finish setting up the Bernina and then I will start sewing the the thing with the thing and the thing. Uh, the top stitching. The top stitching. I also have a new, um, it's technically a blind hem foot, but I am also treating it as a top stitching foot in this particular instance. We will see how it works for, for that purpose. In any case, uh, I will see you on the other side. Well, it's all done except for the crying. <laughs> um, the buttonholes are in. I can't see if you see it, but they're in. Uh, they're great. Uh, three. 
quarters of the uh, sewing on the hem, hand sewing on the hem is done. And all I need now are the buttons. Uh, and also to finish the hand sewing that still needs doing on the hem. There's not much, but I'm slow at the hand sewing and well, that's where we are. Uh, the coat is great. I'm very pleased with the result. Um, I put a uh, buttonhole on the inside one so that I can add a button on the inside around about at the waist. So I'm gonna add actually two buttons on each side of the of the um, on, on, on the waist here and that should get me to a place where it's taking uh, or the uh, waist is sort of not sturdy but steady something like that and um, yeah in general uh, I'm I'm very pleased uh, I still don't know about the 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 flaps uh, I might have gone a little bit overboard on them. They might be just a tad too long, but we will see how that shakes out. Um, it might actually be better if I just... Yeah, that's actually better. That's a lot better. So anyway, um, yes, the coat is all but done and I am very pleased uh, there's no point in filming filming the the hand sewing because it's again it's very very slow and it is um, going to take me the rest of the night but the coat is done I am going to add some footage to the end here of me in the coat uh, possibly somewhere outside we will see probably somewhere outside. Uh, I can't remember what the weather is going to be like in the next couple of days because right now it is dark outside and <laughs> if I take my camera outside now to take take fil footage of of myself outside in this coat you're not gonna see anything. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to see about the weather in any case, uh, since the coat is done, I think next week we are going to be moving on to other projects. Probably finishing the hoodie since the hoodie is already ongoing. But after that, I don't know yet, actually. Um, I kind of have a small hankering for another um, Muna and Broad uh, Banksia tank, tankini, tank. Um, I'm going to try making it in a larger size to see if that gets rid of the, the wrinkles that happen around here because I'm not too excited about those even, you know, I'm not, I'm just not too excited about those. So that would be nice. Um, I also have a few um, few other shirt projects that are basically ready to go as soon as as soon as I am. And I might actually also want to make pajamas because we are getting into the cold seasons around here and I, I, I'm, I'm betting that I'm going to want pajamas for Barcelona because we're going to a hotel and hotels always have a lot of air conditioning. I don't know why they keep hotels so cold 
but they do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to want pajamas with me there. But I also kind of do want to have some adult um, shirts and tops with me there as well. So we will see. We will see what we get up to. But in any case, the coat is now... I'm gonna call it done. Like seriously, I'm just gonna call it done. Um, and because the coat is done, I can move on to other things. And that is awesome. So that's gonna be next week. And now, if you like this vlog, do do all the do all the YouTube things and I will see you next Thursday.